Now for this best and worst list, because I started Moonwalker Mondays back in October and there were only three releases that I reviewed in 2017, I'm going to start with the only one that belongs on the worst list. The number one worst release, and it's the only one that is on this list, is the Blood on the Dance Floor 2017 music video. After watching the beginning of the video for the first time, my reaction was, what the fuck is this? The Blood on the Dance Floor 2017 music video was one of the worst ideas by the Michael Jackson estate in 2017. And after watching the music video, I can happily say that the original 1997 Blood on the Dance Floor music video is much better than the remake from 2017 and including new footage with the Michael Jackson one dancers was a waste of film. So if I had to recommend a music video of Blood on the Dance Floor, it would have to be the original 1997 version that was originally done by Michael Jackson. And I definitely recommend that you skip the 2017 remake of Blood on the Dance Floor. It was a terrible way to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the song. Now there's only two releases left that I have to name and they are on the best releases list. Number two, Michael Jackson's Halloween. The soundtrack, which was filled with songs from Michael Jackson and the Jacksons was great. It gave the special a Michael Jackson vibe. Michael Jackson's Halloween is no thriller, but it was still good enough for me to recommend. Jim Parsons and Brad Garrett steal the show with their performances, and the special contained a Michael Jackson vibe, which made this special enjoyable for even kids and fans of Michael Jackson. It is not available on DVD or Blu-ray at this very moment, but if it ever does get released on DVD or Blu-ray in 2018, definitely pick it up. Now, the number one Michael Jackson release I reviewed in 2017 is Michael Jackson's Scream. And some people think that Michael Jackson's Scream is a cash grab. However, I disagree with them completely. The one that was a cash grab was Michael Jackson's This Is It. Michael Jackson's Scream, however, is not a cash grab. And I'm going to tell you all this, that this is the best Michael Jackson compilation by Epic Records since the mid-2000s. Now, this was the first Michael Jackson release I ever reviewed for Moonwalker Mondays. And this is the best Michael Jackson compilation by Epic Records since the mid-2000s, even though some people do not like this release and feel that it's a cash grab. Now, the only things that set it back were that it did not include Is It Scary and Escape being the remix rather than the original mix. Besides those flaws, there's really not much to complain about. Scream was included on a Michael Jackson US compilation for the first time ever. Thriller, Blood on the Dance Floor, and Ghosts were also included on this release. 
that was for the Halloween season. And this compilation did not disappoint me at all. This is the best release that the Michael Jackson Estate has done since Escape. And it's available on both CD and vinyl. Well, this is it for Moonwalker Mondays for 2017. I'd like to thank everybody for watching Moonwalker Mondays so far. There's going to be new episodes for 2018. And some of the ones that I wanted to do for 2017 have been moved to January. So my response to Michael Framer, and of course Michael Framer is from Analog Planet. I'm going to be doing a video response to him in January. And I'm also going to be doing an unboxing. But my next video is going to be my Michael Jackson Year in Review which I will talk about anything Michael Jackson related that happened back in 2017. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is the last Monday unfortunately for 2017. The next Monday will be the first day of 2018 and it'll be my next Michael Jackson Moonwalker Mondays episode. Thank you very much for watching. And Happy New Year to you all. Peace. Now if you missed any of my reviews, click the link that you want to watch down below in the description box.